welcome back to my channel. Today I am showing you guys probably my, oh, where'd it go? Landis, hold on. Landis took one of them because she's using it right now. But one of my favorite things that I did with my scrap box is label it. And today I'm gonna show you guys really, really simple tutorial, but I know you guys are gonna ask me how I did it. So I wanted to show you guys how I did it. So let's go. So I pretty much have everything where I want it and I'm working on the labels. So I just typed up the labels I need. The bins right here are empty because they are um, scrapbooking paper and I have all my scrapbooking paper out because I'm working on the labels. So I'm just gonna print and print them. Thank you, Hunter. You good? Are those good enough for you? Thank you. And then I'm gonna use my scrapbooking paper to put in here because I don't like seeing all the mess, but I need labels so I can see what's in them. All right, so I'm just taking and laying them out how they're gonna look on the scrap box. And then I cut out the little labels and I cut out a corresponding little piece of extra cardstock that I'm going to glue on and I'm just going to kind of do them all scrappy and then I may add some cute flowers or something else cute washi tape I just wanted to look really scrappy but really like all the same patterns so like the six patterns are continuous <laughs> Okay, sorry the lighting is a little dark, but I did this part at night, but I decided to turn my jar sideways and label them as soon as I realized that the two and a half inch Fiskars hole punch was the exact size as the lid. So all I did was take the paper and hole punch out a bunch of different coordinating uh, papers and I used the glue stick to glue them on and then I labeled them exactly like I did the uh, bins as well. And I am in love. Baby, just say 